Alright, you're all up and running, ready to go. Alright, I might adjust the volume a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back to Joyless Gaming and more monkey business. And apparently I have played this, at least Steam is telling me I have played this, but I don't remember playing it. So... Well, 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 Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. <laughs> the biggest treasure of them all. Big a whoop. treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. The reason I know about Big Wolf is because I have played the third game, Curse of Monkey Island. Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find <laughs> Big Wolf, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Anyway, there's a thing about growing a beard or a moustache, but he appears to have facial hair. Or at least a five o'clock shadow. Is there no title sequence? But can I get that to go away? I don't want audio commentary. Welcome to Woodtip. No treads or hunting zone. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. <laughs> I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Oh. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those travelers' checks. Oh, buzz off with the audio commentary. Can I tell that to go away? Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I got an achievement. <laughs> Called keeping it old school. Not what I meant to do, though. 
Yeah, can I get the audio commentary stuff to go away? <clears throat> yeah. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. <laughs> I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. It says Woody. That's me. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. What? what? Oh boy, it's <laughs> Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Sorry, I was using that as an opportunity just to, to test audio. And I think I might just drop the audio down a little bit more, one more notch. Shouldn't be too quiet, but also shouldn't be... I mean, if you don't want to listen to me talk, then press the mute button. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Else. Mm. That's about the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks. I made it myself. Nice craftsmanship. I made it myself. Alright, well, I'll think it out. Go! Oh, piss off with the audio commentary. I don't want it. Maybe the next time I play it. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that can really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. <laughs> you there. Uh oh. <laughs> Wonderfully. My usual. And put it in a real glass. Wonderful subtle way of saying this is what you need to do. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. How does he succeed when he's the only person around to do this stuff? I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly, no cover charge. It's a metronome. Uh huh. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. <laughs> hey! Hired help only! 
Well, I suppose I should talk to you about that then, shouldn't Excuse I? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Largo's been here. That's sick. I don't want to touch it with my hands. <laughs> Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. How appropriate. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, the Chuck Busting Stud. Uh huh. Nice map. Yep. Nice map. <laughs> Not for sale, though. Nice map. All right, okay. Nice map. Drew it myself. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Excuse me. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. <laughs> to play IRS. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? <laughs> Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Well, Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. It wasn't Monkey Island, was it? Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all hmm. went their separate ways. Puzzle pieces, yay! Is this... I wonder if this game is longer than the first one. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library, if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognise the shape of the land and track it down myself. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm Guybrush the LeChuck Busting Stud? So I've heard. Something about his files. Where are his files? It's a pile of blank paper. Yeah. Get annoyed with it. Get annoyed by that bloody audio commentary thing. Is no, we don't clean leather. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Yeah, oh, laundry going, okay. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! <laughs> Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. <laughs> Not a very good laundry, is it? <laughs> Men of low moral fiber. Are they the same ones from the first game? 
Nice. 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 Go okay, buzz off with the audio commentary. I'll do that sometime in the future. That's not much of an alligator. Oh, isn't that cute? Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. I see. Well, <laughs> gotta do something about getting a voodoo doll. Since it was made quite clear to me by a couple of characters that the one thing that would help this town would be a voodoo doll of <laughs> Largo Legrand. <laughs> I <laughs> brush with an exclamation mark. Right. Oh yeah, a cemetery. Nice stick. Pick up sticks. This is where I was, isn't it? Steam and weenies, 20 feet. Wrap scallion steam and weenie hut. Place order here. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Looks closed. Yeah. You can move faster than that guy, Rush. Come on. Brush. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. It looks murky. Great. model. It appears to be yo-yo string. Well, just take a little. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Golden tongue. The five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. <laughs> Skink toes. They're unlabeled. They're unlabeled. They're unlabeled. They're unlabeled. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I have a suspicion. Brush three food. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. <laughs> Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no. no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Right. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? 
Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. <laughs> something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body right, and yeah. from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. <laughs> Yay. Nice. Now go. Cat dewormer. Cat dewormer. Bat wax. Covered with jellyfish and swampy parasites. Ugh. Right, well, okay. That's why there's a cemetery. Although I don't have a shovel. <laughs> the Ricketts. No trespassing. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. <laughs> The Quagmires. No trespassing. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Here lies Hank Plank. No. Does anybody recognize Stan's Casual Crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. I see. Warning. Quarantine Tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. I take it this uh, this is the same stand with the used ships. Here lie the Gordo brothers, too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth can hold them. The Grouts, no trespassing. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. The grave of the unknown pirate. The grave of the unknown cabin boy. The grave of the unknown drunk guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. <laughs> Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. Ugh. Nice! No man commanded Jean Louise, not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and floated around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. <sighs> Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. Nice. 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 Right. Okay. But I do need a shovel, don't I? Yeah, it's good old-fashioned epitaphs. Why does everything have to be so far apart? Do I eventually have to do the wandering around bumping into pirates thing? Oh, wait. Look at the sign first. Seems the polite thing to do. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Right. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139. 
Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Oh, just says that, okay. Why is the path so wonky? They've got idle animations. Are you Captain Dread? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dread. What can I do for you? Navy Dread. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Is that Phil Lamar? Because that sounds like Hermes from Futurama. <laughs> Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All, right. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck jar. Right, yes, of course. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Yeah, the navigator's head that... <laughs> Alright, that's... It for locations. So, I guess over that spit... But I need, I guess I need something to collect in. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. No. Uh -huh. something to collect it in. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Wanna see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm. Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. <laughs> you have a business to run, you know. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. So what the hell? 
I'm already at a massive loss. Am I going to have to resort to the hint system already? It's got the same hint system as the previous game did. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry. We only have one, and it's full. Nice. Be with you in a second. Be with you in a second. <sighs> hmm. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. And that's securely fastened. And that's securely fastened. I'm not holding it. I have better things to do than beat up baby reptiles. <laughs> Maybe fetch or something. Distract him. How do I distract him then? Yeah, okay. But I still... It's like, what, what do I... Uh, uh, I need a saw or something? I mean, what? How? What? Uh, puzzle games, huh? Around a bit. Damn it. Sure thing. What do you think you're doing? I need all of them. Get away from there. It's not a toy. Hey, don't touch that. No one touches her but me. Hey, don't touch that. Everything's laid out just how I need it. I don't think you'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. <laughs> Use woodsmith. Man, yeah, these things don't help you out much, do they? Hello. Yeah. Nice map. Not yeah, for sale, right. though. Yeah, press both mouse buttons in at the same time and it highlights things you can interact with. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um, sister once had. <laughs> ah, garbage. Just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. <laughs> please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? <laughs> this again. No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Pretty please with sugar in a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? No. <laughs> I really need it. No. <laughs> I really, really need it. No. I really desperately need it. No. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. No. no. <laughs> if you don't give it to me, I'll never speak to you again. No. I'll be your best friend. No. I'll be your best friend forever and ever. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> be a pal. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> hmm. I think it's yo-yo string. Yeah, clearly you're supposed to trap probably the rat, but uh Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Yes. <sighs> I can't really see that bucket helping with the... Uh... Oh, of course, I'd use that to collect the... the gobba spit. Hey! Hired help only! Oi! What? What? There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. Enough spit to put in the bucket. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Yeah. Yeah. What are y'all? Why am I doing this to myself? Plenty of puzzle games, eh? The paper? What? It's blank. Yeah, exactly. What am I going to do with it? <laughs> no thanks. Uh, Ugh. Yuck. That is... Uh, that is disgusting. Use the paper to pick up the spit. I suppose it, considering it was a big... solid... Uh, All he wants right now is sleep. Mm. Can't seem to untie the rope on the pet alligator. Yes, I know I'm still missing ingredients for the voodoo doll. I I have an idea. I, I need to get into his room to get hair. 
I need a shovel to be able to dig up his ancestor. This Largo guy. A two bit thug. He's nothing but a low down weasel. So, why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. Not this story again. <laughs> How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but <laughs> it just didn't feel right. <laughs> What's this about an embargo? The Largo embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including bread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. You guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab. Than a scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about scab is what it hasn't got no mayor or police force, and no jail in which to. That was beautiful. <laughs> well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? <laughs> Alright. Ugh. We want some swamp water? whole bucket of mud and it's mine all mine it's a bucket full of mud okay do I want that for any particular reason creepy but apparently seaworthy Can I give her an ingredient at a time, or do I have to collect the entire thing? Back again, Mr. Threepwood. About that voodoo doll? Have you brought me the ingredients? I had some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Yeah. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. So I can bring one at a time. All right. I bet I could get hair from his bedroom, but I have to get into his bedroom. And apparently. It's Recommends I can distract the uh, innkeeper, but I'd have to let his alligator loose, and I don't see how I'm going to do that without doing something that can cut the rope. And I need a shovel to dig up his ancestor. I think. And... 
Good. Clothing. So I don't know how I collect. I've got to stain something, I guess. It's sparkly clean. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, I get that. That's okay, that's a weird thing. There's no glass in the window. Cold potato and leek soup. Yeah, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. The fire's out. I'm no cook. It's too heavy. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. And there's no glass in the window. <laughs> okay. Was that somehow like more obvious in the... No? Was not more obvious in the original version. Examine every pixel on the screen. Hey, how don't Pegbiter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squiggles, one of my favorites. Concept art unlocked. Messy, messy, messy. It's a bit on the tattered side. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f out of here! Okay. Is that what the cheese things were for? One of my favorites. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Ugh. So basically I have to get back into his room and then muddy some of his clothes. Told you to get out. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free.
Alright. Yeah. I have to do something with that rat too, I'm sure. Or that box anyway that I can set a trap in, but Oh of course. Circus started. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, <laughs> after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. <laughs> we wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Brinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that uh, Brinky Inky was and Drinky. the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Wolf. I don't see what this has to do with performance. We're getting to that. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water <laughs> fast. <laughs> we ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already! <laughs> he told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. I see. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh... Uh, hmm. <laughs> Dirtophobia, groundophobia, terraphomophobia. Terraphomophobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? 
Give me money for the polish. Okay. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. <laughs> I think that'll work. So I've got the rat trapped. I don't know if that was something I should have done later or not, but it's done. <clears throat> yeah. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hmm. I suppose the hint system goes a bit haywire. Well, it does not haywire, but it loses itself a bit when you've got multiple things you could be doing. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Is everything just dies? Right, so I've got hair sort of. like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Largo could be back any minute. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. It doesn't seem to stay closed. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. I don't like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. And it's already open. It's empty. It's stuck open. <sighs> they look pretty old. Stop pestering me! I was just leaving. Mm. You're supposed to leave these things open. I have to have a room first. Saying there's something in here I can pick up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know I'm missing ingredients for the voodoo doll. Yeah. Uh, I need a shovel. Where can I get a shovel? <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Get your hands away from there. I broke the sign. That... That's just absurd. What do you expect? What did I really expect? Nice. 
case. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. This is creepy feeling. <laughs> Where on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Nice. All right. So I've got something of the dead and something of the, the head. I just need his clothes. Hello. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. What would I do with that? I doubt they'd be interested. <sighs> I don't think that'll work. Of course. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. No, you absolutely should have done that. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look. I want it free, and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. 
I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Right. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I got a laundry type question. Cute. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. No ticket, no laundry. Okay, how do I... So I'm just back into his room again. Oh dear. For Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? <laughs> ah, here it comes. Okay. Nice people, fresh scent. Certain that belongs to him. And again, there are not a lot of uh, women on this island, are there? of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? So am I to take it that um, we accidentally resurrect the Chuck by doing I this? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandra flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. 
this ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? <laughs> Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Okay. Guybrush. So you have to find where he is, so he's probably in the let's go to his room. Toad? What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. God. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. No! 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 That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did it, LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look <laughs> out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Wait, what? Whoops. You mean bring him back to unlife, right? Because as a living being, I'm he's. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now, it must be. rotten, partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. What can I do? Where can I hide? Can you give him to protect me? You just kill me now and get it over with. <laughs> can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth. And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. <laughs> Thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Mm. 
Alright, well if that is roughly the end of part one, I will uh, end stream soon. And stick it up on YouTube. Along with all my other crap. Guybrush! Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook, Young Lindy, the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers, the first mate, and Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. <laughs> his boat was leaning at the time. All right, well, okay. But there was a bunch of uh, things there, the unnamed cabin boy, unnamed... Uh, what's his call it? So there are multiple islands in this game? Maybe? He's back! Well, you guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. You sure can write a mean letter, Fink. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye pads. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush. Not Girl Scouts. Right. Well... I'll see you salty dogs later. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Hmm, looks closed. Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. Right. I thought surely I'd get started on the second part, and it would say that, okay, you've sort of lifted the embargo. Sort of. Do I still have that shovel? Gotta dig up those un <laughs> unknown uh, graves. I do still have the shovel. Grave of the Unknown Pirate. I can't dig that, Daddy. <laughs> there once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. No man commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. Mm. No, then, okay. Well, maybe if we give this book to the uh, 
cartographer. That would be... Huh. I think Largo's out of voodoo range by now. Hello. No thanks. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. I can't reach it. I hope I didn't lose it. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um sister once had. <laughs> it's too small. I'll never be able to afford a new one. I can't reach it. How am I supposed to work? Nice map. Uh, excuse me. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Hey, I did it. Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. <laughs> yes. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Maybe you should talk to Captain Dredd. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Sissies <laughs> use maps. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Yes, that laugh of his was animated with the monocle on. Is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. <laughs> hey, me too! Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. <laughs> you know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. Right, Gang. I... I'm assuming I'm going to need it for something. Well, alright, um... Can I make some progress? Alright. Doubt there's anything to be done. Actually, no, I should just check his room, see if he's... Although he left his room. I saw him leave his room. I don't see anything special about it. Then again... I never really have understood art. Right. Well, I feel like we haven't accomplished a great deal here today, tonight, technically. Talk to these guys and 
see if they're happy about. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Grog, please. I don't need to see some ID for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. You thought you'd be happier. Mm. Maybe I can just talk to Dread. <clears throat> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. He drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Uh, is that it, really? Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Captain Dredd. And... I don't really have money, do I? Everything looks all blurry. So I can go to a different island. <sighs> it's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Oh, right. okay. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Eye that has seen the world. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Yeah, you're right. I'm broke. Nah. <laughs> All right, well... Screw this, I'll come back to it next time. Probably next week. It's just, yeah. Save. Okay, so I did play it. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna override that save. Back in 2010, apparently. It's probably around about the time that I bought it. 19% uh, complete, so yeah, it's a bit longer than the first one. It's alright. So, we'll uh, see you next time, I guess. And I'm a little disappointed that there wasn't a, uh, like a title sequence screen thing. It'd make a good uh, thumbnail for the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.